Let's go to page 468, and this is lesson 10-4. The objective of this lesson is to define log uh, logarithmic functions and to learn uh, how they are related to exponential functions. Okay. So the log function is the it's like the opposite of the exponential function. Just like when you have addition and subtraction, they are opposite of each other. Okay? Or when you have multiplication and division, they are opposite of each other. So when you have exponents and the, the logs, they, they are opposite of each other. Okay, so let's go over how these things work. Okay? So if you look on, so let's just go to example one. Okay? And let's go to 1A. So, so L-O-G, now when you, when you write a base, you have to write kind of low. So this is the base. So this is the log base 6 of 36 equal to 2. Okay? So this is the base, and this is the exponent, and this is the number. And the, 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 the way the log related to exponent is that when you change the base, okay, the base will stay the same, and then this two number will switch. Okay, so it'll be six squared equal to thirty-six. Okay, so this is an exponential form, and this is a log form. Okay, so again, base stay the same. Okay, and so and, and the number is over here. So when you switch, when, when you change the form, you just switch the two numbers. Okay, so let's go to one b. Okay, so again, exponents and logs that. They are opposite of each other, just like the multiplication and division are opposite of each other. Addition and subtraction are opposite of each other. Okay. And so 1B, you have a, the log base 2 of 2 equal to 1. Right? Now, to write this in exponential form, the base stay. Right? The base always stay. The base does not move. And these two numbers just switch. So 1 goes over here, and 2 goes over here. So 2 to the 1 equal to 2. Okay. or log base 2 of 2 equal to 1. Okay. Now let's go to 1C. So you have a log base 10 of 0 0.001 equal to negative 3. Okay. So again, this is your exponent, this is your base. Okay. So when you switch to exponential form, you're going to get 10 to the negative 3 equal to 0 0.001. Okay. So again, base stay and the R2 number will just switch. Okay. Okay, now let's go to example 2. Example 2 is going to go backward. Okay, you got 6 to the 0 equal to 1, and you're going to put this in the log form. Okay? So again, when you put in the log form, that's the base stay. So this is LOG of base 6. That right? base stay the same. The R2 number just switch. So it become 1 equal to zero, right? The two numbers just switch. Again, the base always stay. The base, keep the base in the same place and just switch to the other two numbers. Okay, okay now let's go to 2B. So you got eight to the negative two over three power equal to one over four, right? So now you're gonna change it into the log form. So the base stay, so L-O-G, base eight, Right. Now, when you write the base, you make it a little bit lower, and this would be 1 over 4 equal to negative 2 over 3. Right. Again, base stay, and the other two numbers switch. Okay. So again, when you change from one form to the other, the two numbers will just switch, just like this here. Right. Again, the two numbers switch. Okay. The base always stay the same. Okay. Stay, keep the base in the same place, and the other two numbers just uh, switch. Okay. So you got... 5 to the 3 over 2 power equal to 5 and square root of 5, 5 times square root of 5. Okay, so again, you want to change into log, so LOG of 5, right? Keep the base the same. The R2 number just switch. Okay, so again, the R2 number switch. The base stay and the R2 number switch. Now the log, the the log is used to uh, um, to evaluate the numbers that are very large or very small. Okay, for example, like in astronomy 
or like in um, in like chemistry, for example. Okay. okay, let's go to example three. <clears throat> now three A. Okay, you have L O G the log base five or twenty five. Now make sure you write the base five kind of small. Okay. Normally, imagine if you were to draw the line like this, so it'd be like like on the little corner, okay? Okay, now to simplify this, okay, easy way to do it, just always set it equal to x. Go and set it equal to a variable, set it equal to x, then you go and change form. So you're going to get 5 to the x equal to 25, okay? Again, so base stay the same, and the two numbers switch, right? Then up to that, <coughs> you're going to try to match, match up the two sides. So you got 5 to the x equal to 5 to the 2, right? 25 is 5 squared. And then from here, you can match it. You can see the x equal to 2, okay? And so this is equal to 2. <clears throat> okay, let's go to 3b. Okay, you have log log base 2 of 8 times square root of 2. Okay, so again, the, the reason you set it to, to x is so that when you move things around, you don't lose track of what you're doing. So once you find x, that's your answer. So by setting it equal to x, you can move things all over the place without losing track of what you try to do. Okay, okay so over here, I can change base. So you got 2 to the x equal to 8 times square root of 2. And now, you, now since this is base 2, you want to make this base 2. So three, uh, 8 equal to 2 to the 3. And square root of 2 is 2 to the 1 half power. Okay? So 2 to the x equal to 2 to the... Now, this you have to use a product rule. So you have to multiply this together by adding the exponents to b. So when you add, you're going to get 3 and a half or 7 over 2. Right? 3 plus 1 half equal to 7 over 2. Now, by doing the matching, you can see x equal to 7 over 2. Okay, let's go to the next one. Okay, so 3C, you got 2 to the LOG base, uh, log base 2 of 7. Okay, so what happens is this is the exponent and also have a log. So remember, log and exponents are in, uh, opposite of each other, so they will cancel out. So this will just cancel out, so the answer will be just 7. But if you don't see that, again, you can just set it equal to x, okay, and then you can go and change form, so log base 2 of x equal uh, x, right? Switch the two numbers, you go to log base 2 of 7, right? So again, base stay, and this switch, right? So by, by matching, you can see that x match with a 7, right? So x equal to 7, okay? Again, just do the matching. Okay? So you can, as you can see, this proves that, again, 2 to the exponent of uh, log base 2, they, they are the this, they have the same base, so they will cancel out. Okay. Okay, let's go to the next example. <clears throat> okay, example 4a. Okay, you have a log base 4 of x equal to 3. So again, whenever you solve, you always try to just change the form. Okay? So this one you can make into 4 to the 3 power equal to x. Right? Again, base stays the same, and then these two numbers just switch. Then after you can evaluate these, right? So 4 to the 3 power will give you 64. Okay, and that's it. Okay. okay, let's go to 4b. Okay, you have log base x of 81 equal to 4. Okay, so you can to evaluate, you always just ch change to the other form. So you're going to get x to the 4 equal to 81. Okay. Then from here, you can, you can either take to, you, you can raise it to 1 fourth power, or you can just go and try to make the, break these things, break these things down. So x to the 4 equal to 3 to the 4. Then from here, you can do the matching, or you can take to the 1 fourth power. Okay, to get rid of the 4, okay, but easy just go and do the matching, so you get x equal to 3. Okay. 